Uppercut, uppercut, Sonic Boom! Well, hello there, humans of these other things. Hope you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Bushcrew. Today's video is a little bit of a dead rail uh We're going to have this game from me, and then we're going to have a game from, I think it's Kikosha. Uh, a young amigo who's going to show you how to dead rail in the grill in no uncertain terms. This is a hell of a fun time when you're a medium tank on this map and you get the good positions. The only problem I have with dead rail, and it's an age old problem, is the positioning of TDs. And I thought this was worth including in this game because it really matches up well with the Kosha's game. Uh, the positioning of our TDs here is sublime and disastrous. The FV4005 there is a horrifically positioned TV. It is literally called the shit barn because it's massive and it looks like a barn. And it's in the middle of the cap at sea saying, hi guys, I'm in the middle of the cap at sea. Would you like to come and see me? And two red tanks say, hell yeah, we'd love to come and see you. Conversely, the position of our 183 is fantastic. Uh, you can see he's rolled all the way forward and he's actually supporting the top without needing to be asked, which is bloody wonderful. Now, he's just escaped with his life, but this is the real dilemma of Dead Rail. TDs make and break this map. You can see we have a TD in the middle of our spawn. He's going to start rolling on through, excuse me, and getting involved. The, uh... The 183 is pretty much hit point disastrous. So he's got to rely on me pushing forward. Now, I am expecting the 263 to be somewhere other than where he is, which is in spawn again, which I don't know either. That is not a tank that is good at this whole, like, big alpha damage, getting one surprising shot and then moving on. I mean, it gets no surprising shots after that one. Um... Thanks very much for that Miss Bat Chat. I appreciate you. I hope you appreciate me. And their 183 is sitting in the corner, which is so predictable. Um, yeah, it's it's TD positioning on this map 101. The biggest annoying thing with TDs on this map is when they move to positions with no spotters because they've been successful in them before, and then they don't leave. Even though there's no one spotting, the person spotting is them. When they fire, well, guess what? The uh, rest of the team sees them and they die nearly instantly. Now, I'm expecting there to be a 183 on my left, and I am not disappointed. I am immediately spotted and pull back and set up to fire from behind cover. And he can't see me. He can't do a thing. No one is giving him shots, and he's not moving. This is the crazy thing about this. Rather than be proactive and get off your ass and go and get... A target and use your gun he's gonna sit there and now he has no spotting he has zero spotting what's he gonna do our 183 is still alive and he's moved all the way up into town which is absolutely brilliant um yeah like sorry he's not in town he's at the back he's got no hit points i'm wrong like it's crazy which brings me to the next game and this is what I love about proactive tankers. This is Kakasha in the grill on Dead Rail. And you're going to see him really work to make his mobility a defining characteristic of his gameplay. Now, instantly he is going high. I love this. I hate how many TDs go and sit in the far corner or sit in spawn when they don't necessarily have to. And he's going to go all the way up the top. Now, he's thinking, very strongly thinking, that there is only one light tank on the map. And that is the Sheridan down there, and he's been spotted. So maybe he can go and grab this space over here. This is such a lovely aggressive play, but it might be a little bit forward just yet because the Sheridan was hooking back around, back towards here. And he spotted that. And he's moving back across to the far corner here. This is excellent. There are, unfortunately, two members of his team in spawn. Yeah, I don't know either. 
I mean, what do you do? It is what it is. What I love about this position here is that he has both soft and hard cover, and it's one of the best things you can do on this map is to use these TD positions on either side behind the sea cap. Now, the 68's asking for help, and well, he may, because there are a couple of grubs sitting in base doing nothing. The grill's looking for shots to support. So far, no dice. He doesn't have any medium or light tanks to push forward for him, and he's getting kind of jack of being up here waiting. You can tell, can't you? And down they start pouring in. The red guys have found their form, and there's the Sheridan. He was, in fact, all the way over here. So, Akash has got his first shot off, 647, with two minutes gone in the map, and they are already a tank down. The red team has really stacked the left side. I don't know either as to why that team is so stuck in the spawn. It's not like... I mean, yeah, it's not like any of those tanks are really built for it. But Kakashi, because he got off his ass and moved earlier, is, in fact, able to take advantage of these spots that have been put forward by the absolute legend of a heavy tank that is down there for his team. Unlike the... Uh, yeah, unlike that grub over there. And the mouse chin finally goes down. He was the only one who went forward. And the tier 10 heavy, the... Uh, I think it's a 57. He's still sitting there, doing nothing to nobody. They are down a tank and a bit. Uh, in other words, two tanks. And they're in a bit of trouble. They fight one back, the 57 heavy, but he's not really in a position there to spot his own targets and bounce shells and live. As you can see, disastrously low amounts of hit points. However... This is where you're really disappointed. The 57 Heavy wasn't going to move when he had a full amount of hit points, and he has shown no inclination to uh, to do anything once he lost them. So he dies without driving 10 meters and wastes all that petrol in his tank. Good on you, buddy. Uh, this is what we're talking about here. This is three TDs remaining, and they're all in spawn, apart from Kasha. And he's the only one who's been proactive in getting firing angles. All the others have only got angles that work when everyone in front of them is healthy and alive. And once that's done, it's all over. And they never left spawn. It's now 2v5. And our hero here in the grill, after doing 2.5k, is moving into a position. Well, may he be a little bit worried about this. Because this is not exactly the safest place in the world. And that is not the tank that he wanted to see. Al, and probably happy to get off with 650. Heinz Guderian in the mouse has barked way too soon and has called noobs. And that was a shot and a half. And the other mouse, uh, the other FV4005 has taken him out. So well done, Kakasha, for creating that angle and using the last uh, hurrah back there in the spawn. Then drives forward and really saves the day. Like, that FV is getting the kind of service that you only wish your local bank manager would provide. Rolling forward, there's still a Sheridan there, but we have not seen that Jaegeru for quite some time. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Oh, this is very dangerous. Very dangerous. He's baiting, but he can't get the gun down low enough to be assured of a... Look at it. Desperately trying... To get it to happen there and doesn't get the bounce either well he figures he's paid for the money he's paid for the dance he may as well take his chances the sheridan is afraid to move forward he doesn't want to go forward he's only one shot and he's thinking long and hard about it because he knows that if he rolls nice and tasty he could take him out here uh, and desperately going forward oh my god oh my god oh my god why was he firing AP. Oh, my God. So dangerous. And after all of that, the poor only 100 is probably getting yelled at by his teammates for bouncing that shot. Get an FV. Ah! 
Unbelievable scenes. Get AFV. Uh, he is absolutely correct. He's going to go grab A himself. The FV is, in fact, grabbing B. Still, there is a very big tank missing from this picture. Yeah, the mouse isn't happy with the uh, E100, as predicted. Oh, my goodness. AFK Yeageru is the secret eighth man of the green team. Well done, him. Uh, you'd have to think that if he had just toddled forward, and I love the commitment here, Kakasha backs up. Quite happy to give it away rather than risk taking a last second comeback from the Yeageru and a quick AP shell to the face. Great driving in a mobile tank on a map that rewards mobile TDs. I'm Bushka. Thank you so much for watching. Look after yourselves. Stay safe on the battlefield. And as always, bye for now.